title of the resolution. House Resolution 931, resolution expressing support for designation of February 17, 2008 as Race Day in America and highlighting the 50th running of the Daytona 500. Pursuant to the rule, the gentleman from New Hampshire, Mr. Hodes, and the gentleman from Florida, Mr. Feeney, each will control 20 minutes. The chair recognizes the gentleman from New Hampshire. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I ask unanimous consent that all members may have five legislative days in which to revise and extend their remarks. Without objection. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield to myself so much time as I may consume. Nice. Mr. Speaker, as a member of the House Committee on Oversight and Government Reform, I am pleased to join my colleagues in the consideration of House Resolution 931, which expresses our support for naming a race day in America and recognizes the 50th running of the Daytona 500, which will occur on the 17th at the Daytona International Speedway in Daytona, Florida. House Resolution 931 was introduced by my distinguished colleague, Representative Tom Feeney of Florida, on January 17, 2008, and was considered by and reported from the House Oversight Committee on January 29, 2008, by voice vote. The measure, which has the support and co-sponsorship of 68 members of Congress, couldn't have been considered at a more fitting time, as fans across this great country prepare for what is being called the most anticipated event in automobile racing history, the 50th running of the Daytona 500 on Saturday, February 17, 2008. With a history dating back to February 22, 1959, the Daytona 500 at the Daytona International Speedway is a 500-mile motorsport international sweepstakes that draws the attention of millions of American racing fans and racing fans around the world every February. Often referred to as the Great American Race, the Daytona 500 is NASCAR's biggest, richest, and most prestigious race, and has been won by stock car racing greats such as Dale Earnhardt and Jeff Gordon. Mr. Speaker, given the monumental occasion of the 50th running of the Daytona 500, I think it is only appropriate that we express our support of NASCAR and the Great American Race by passing this measure. I urge passage of this bill and I reserve the balance of my time. Gentleman reserves. The gentleman from Florida is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I would yield myself such time as I may consume. Gentleman is recognized. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today to urge support for this resolution designated February 17, 2008 as Race Day in America. Next Sunday, over 200,000 people from all 50 states and around the world will convene at Daytona International Speedway in Daytona Beach, Florida for the 50th running of the Great American Race, the Daytona 500. The most, most prestigious stock car race in the United States, the Daytona 500 is a 200 lap, 500 mile grand opening to NASCAR's Sprint Cup Series, boasting the largest purse and stock car racing's most coveted trophy, the Harley J. Earl Trophy. The Daytona 500 has become the Super Bowl of stock car racing. Each year, millions of fans, both at home and as well as those serving overseas, tune into the race by television and radio. Since 1995, the television ratings for the Daytona 500 have been higher than any auto race, and in 2006, the race drew the sixth largest television audience of any sporting event that year. For 50 years, the popularity of Daytona and car racing in general has grown throughout American society. I believe it is fitting that we celebrate this rising American tradition by passing this resolution in honor of the golden anniversary of its most prestigious event. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I reserve the balance of my time. Gentleman reserves. The gentleman from New Hampshire. No further speakers, and I reserve the balance of my time. Gentleman from New Hampshire reserves. The gentleman from Florida. I have no further speakers other than to, to invite anybody who's free this Sunday to come to Daytona Beach and enjoy this uh, great tradition with us. And uh, with that, I would yield back the balance of my time. Gentleman from Florida yields back the balance of his time. The gentleman from New Hampshire. I yield back the balance of my time. All time having been yielded, the question is, will the House suspend the rules and agree to House Resolution 931?